jumping into this video if you don't know this is my go-to company for curly hair now i'm trying something new okay it's getting into a little beyonce vibe this is their pre-plucked pre-cut pre-bleach 360 glueless lace wig perfect for the lazy girl y'all know they always have a ton of goodies in here from edge bands to lashes y'all okay <laughs> clips combs wig tapes there's a full step by step of how to actually install it i got a nice little silk scarf and a robe y'all they are always so good to me um anywho there is plenty of details about the unit actually in the description box this unit does actually have the invisi strap so if you don't know what that is i'll show you today don't worry and like i said everything does already come pre-customized so this is really and truly beginner friendly at this point if you're still bleaching your own wig you're probably shopping with the wrong brand so <laughs> what i'm gonna do is just show you a really really quick and easy way to go ahead and actually get this installed like i said it is glueless now the only thing that i noticed is that the lace was super hd and transparent but it was so transparent that i felt like it needed a little bit of foundation so i added some of like an i guess an old brush from when i did my makeup earlier just to go on the inside and then of course this is what the curls look like fresh out of the box this actually was not bad at all y'all can see just how thick and soft and luxurious the color is i was pleasant pleasantly surprised by the way that they actually faded this out and kind of did that balayage ombre if you want to take it up a notch you can I'm actually going to go in with a little bit of the uh, Kenra working spray just to get rid of any flyaways which honestly there were not a lot but I want to use this just as like a light holding spray to really be able to push that hair away from the face and then really smooth out the base of the unit because it's curly more than likely it had more volume than what I cared for because you guys can see like here it was super curly from like the root to the tip and i just kind of wanted to lay that down a little bit more just to give more of a sleek effect you guys will kind of see that you got a quick little preview in the beginning but a hot comb will be necessary in this case if you don't have it no pressure you could also just use some mousse and totally do this like install on your mannequin head or yourself whatever you feel comfortable with but um yeah i find that the hot comb just really kind of gets the job done straight out of the gate and it makes it really really easy for me to be able to um maneuver the hair as we get into the style so you guys will see what i mean in this case i'm just using the back of the hot comb to really get nice and close and snug as close as I can to the scalp that's also another reason why you probably want to invest in a mannequin head if you don't already have one and these days the girlies are back to wearing their wigs behind the hairline in my opinion I think it could look nice but it really just depends on your texture and if you have a fuller hairline so wigs like this make it easy for you to be able to wear the color kind of get the look without having to mess so much with your own natural hair and it's even better because it's curly so you don't really have to worry about having super small braids um if you do the lazy girl friendly way like me which <laughs> typically y'all know i take the wig uh, on and off morning and noon at night you can definitely just kind of pull your hair back do a quick little french braid throw this baby on and you're good but i'm really excited to show you the back of it um but we will get into that in just a second for now i did go ahead and just take a little bit of water in a spray bottle nothing too crazy of course y'all know um i don't really like to apply a bunch of like leave-ins or conditioners to my wigs i will actually go in with a little bit of like mousse just to kind of set the curl you want to be specific in the type of mousse that you use because they are not all made equally some of them are a little bit more tacky and really have a hold that can kind of make the hair crunchy so just be mindful i'm going to show you what i use y'all know it's always a cream of nature argan oil mousse and a little goes a long way the hair was already naturally soft and kind of had this nice sheen to it but the mousse is really going to kind of lock in that texture that color and make it easier for you to kind of work with so once we get it completely dry you guys will see what i mean ultimately okay now if you are not used to working with curly hair what you for sure want to invest in is a powder brush some type of just like curly bristle brush that will allow you to go through the hair to separate curl by curl so that it kind of clumps and then what will eventually happen 
as you actually go to install the hair and kind of play with it a little bit, it will naturally kind of start to get poofier. So remember what it looks like in the beginning versus what it looks like now. You can kind of see what I mean, why I really wanted to go in with the water and reset everything. There's nothing, <laughs> nothing wrong with a quick little afro moment, but I do prefer for my curly units, especially if it's not my own natural hair, to just be a little bit more on the sleek side because I am the queen of throwing on a quick little bucket hat and kind of heading out the door. <laughs> so if you see me with a bucket hat and curls nine times out of ten, I am wearing a wig and just kind of wanted to switch it up just a little bit. But the hairline was perfectly bleached, perfectly plucked. And yeah, I was really, really happy with the way that everything looked. I did go ahead and apply a wig cap with a little bit of True Scalp tape. Super easy. I did not have to use any glue or spray to tie this baby down. I did end up putting some edge control down and back on them little, okay, we had the little kitchen itching. <laughs> <laughs> the curls and the nape of my neck i did go ahead and apply a little bit of edge control just to smooth it up but you guys can see it's super easy to throw this baby up into a ponytail and with the invisa straps they're just clear straps on the inside that really help the base of the wig sit close to the nape of your neck so that it's not overly bulky and it just gives more of a natural kind of effect so i like that and i know a lot of girls really like to wear their hair up in buns so i do think getting a curly unit that's pretty versatile of course you can part it pretty much anywhere may be a good idea for you so whether you want to do a high bun low bun two buns so on and so forth feel free to kind of play with it I'm a less is more girl, so I really, really like to just have my hair in its natural state. Definitely more of like a sleek kind of laid down look. And this is just a true testament that I did not tack this baby down. Now, based off of the way that the hairline looks, y'all see how everything is nice and melted. You can very like faintly see the very tips of like that lace is because it was pre-cut so I could have totally gone in and trimmed off just a little bit more if you really wanted a deeper melt you could also go in with some mousse tie the baby down with like a um either satin scarf or some type of edge band and it will melt even further into your scalp in my case of course y'all know <laughs> i don't really mind too much because the wig quality was just that on point this is actually i feel like i was channeling my inner beyonce with this unit like super freaking cute nice fluffy i'm 5'2 so that was just kind of a little reference it does kind of hit the booty okay i don't necessarily think you should maybe straighten your curly units but you could if you decided you wanted to change the color you could also do that but again ashberry is one of my favorite like comes to curly hair just like anytime somebody acts like Chrissy I need a curly unit I'm like girl here <laughs> they always have the looks and it is always the softest highest quality hair that I have seen so it's not too late okay to make your investment I hope you guys enjoy this video leave any comments or questions down below I love y'all so much stay pretty and of course you know I'll see you in my next one bye babies